Students and staff at a Peoria school were aboard the United flight that was forced to land yesterday. WGN Shannon Halligan has reaction from those on board. Shannon. Yeah, well, some on the plane said they didn't initially realize anything happened, but it was apparent from the ground. Video of flight 35 departing San Francisco shows the plane losing one of its tires just seconds after takeoff. That tire landed in an employee parking lot, smashing into a car and shattering its back window. It then broke through a fence, coming to a stop in a neighboring lot. The United Airlines Boeing 777 jetliner was bound for Japan, but made a safe landing after diverting to Los Angeles. This group of students and faculty from Peoria Christian were on board. We had no idea. Uh, really, so we take off and everything just seemed like normal. And like. 10 minutes later, it's like, uh, we lost the wheel. <laughs> so, uh, of course, then that makes me a little bit nervous about it. Okay, so uh, hopefully we have more than one. The airline said the plane was designed to land safely with missing or damaged tires. But for those on the flight, that wasn't immediately obvious. Just kind of looking around. My, my son was sitting a few rows in front of me. He just kind of turns around and this uh, side eye like, uh, are we good? I felt the crew did a really good job. They said that they're trained for this. This isn't uh, it's something they've prepared for. Still, aviation experts said planes losing tires is a rare occurrence and not likely indicative of a larger safety issue. They usually put the whole wheel assembly uh, on, a, on an airplane when they change the tires. And it's possible that, uh, mm, I hope, I don't want to say it, because it's very embarrassing. They may not have uh, secured the wheel properly. We'll know about this. We'll, we'll definitely find out. Uh, the good thing is that nobody got hurt. Uh, crew did an excellent job, so did the air traffic control. But this is just the latest issue on a commercial airliner. I'm just wondering if the airplanes are held together with duct tape right now. Last month, damage could be seen on a wing of a United flight. And in January, the door plug flew off this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 plane. But at the end of the day, Thursday, travelers aboard Flight 35 said it was a small blip in their plans. The landing wasn't much different than any other landing. There were 235 passengers and 14 crew members on board at the time. No one, though, was injured. The Federal Aviation Administration is now investigating. Ryan Micah. Thank you, Shannon.